there's a Black Forest Turkesterone giveaway. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews, some supplement reviews, some fitness videos, weekly updates. That's what this is here. Yes, Black Forest is doing a giveaway on Instagram. So if you want to get your hands on some free Turkesterone, follow them on Instagram. Let's bring up their page so you can see what you have to do to have a chance to win some. So there it is, the giveaway. There's going to be three different winners. The first winner is going to win six bottles. The second winner is going to win three bottles. And the third winner is going to win one bottle. Um, to participate, you must follow Black Forest Supplements on Instagram. Like this picture, tag three of your biggest friends, optional post this on your story for two times the chance to win. Every comment equals an entry. So the more people you tag, the better chance you have to win. Winners will be announced Friday, the 29th. Okay, on to the weekly update. Just to let you know, I'm um, back on, and I think I said in the last video, back on to four day, um, L-glutamine, which now that I've been watching some videos, doing more research because like I oh, glooming someone made a, a comment about it and I googled it really quick and like oh weightlifters take it so I hurried up and bought a bunch and now I ordered powder because my pills weren't high enough dosage and then I just watched some more videos on it and they're like you know if you're taking a high enough protein intake into your diet you're really not going to see any effects from L-glutamine which I am I about 150 milligrams of protein a day. So I think my protein intake is high enough to where, like I said, I haven't, well, I haven't said it yet. So for me, I haven't really seen any difference. I've been taking the L-glutamine two weeks now and I don't feel any different. I feel the same. It's not like I'm any less sore because I will get into that. I am really freaking sore. I mean, really sore. So I haven't really seen any effects of it. I'm mean, obviously I'm going to use the pills that I have and now I ordered two tubs of powder. So I'll go through those, but then after that, I probably won't continue with that because from what I'm reading or watching on videos is that it's not going to do much if you have a high enough protein intake. I have to keep, I have my door open. For those of you who watch my videos, you probably have seen my cats from time to time. I'm in a new apartment. So I have a deck now I'm on the first floor. They love going outside. So I, on my, it's kind of, you know, it's got like the railing and I have a little cement pad. They could fit through that railing. So I, maybe I'll take a little video of it real quick. I'll show you. I put up some plexiglass so they can sit out there. Obviously they could jump over that plexiglass, but they haven't realized that yet. So they just chill out there, but I like to keep an eye on them. So it's easier just to show you instead of adding it into my video later on. For those of you who don't know, I pretty much have kind of like a live stream set up here with the uh, ATEM Mini Pro ISO, but I use it for, I don't live stream. I figured out how to use this for my videos. It makes it so much easier to edit and stuff. Uh, play. So there's my deck, little, I mean, it's not big. I got a couple chairs and a table out there. There's Boo Boo and that's Gideon. And you can see the plexiglass there. It's about two feet high. I didn't realize how much plexiglass is. That was about like 80 to $90 just for those two pieces. So they can sit out there. It's a little warm. Usually they'll be in the chairs, even though the chairs are in the sun right now. So I'm gonna pull it back for them. Maybe get some shade. They like to chase little bugs and there'll be like little uh, chipmunks will come up on the other side and they'll just sit there and watch and the chipmunk will run back and forth and look at them. So I just keep an eye on them every now and then. All right, um, let's get into, so I mentioned uh, pains. So I've been using my new functional trainer in there. And one thing that's lacked in my workouts, you know, I've been working out pretty heavily since last August, so almost a year now. But the one thing that's probably lacked the most in my workouts is my shoulders and back. Like I haven't worked those that much. And that's something I want to change coming up for this next year. Like I want my back and shoulders to really grow. And that's an area of focus that I'm going to be looking at over the next year. Obviously, I'm not going to stop biceps and chest and legs. Still going to work on those, but more intensity on the back and shoulders. So I've started that since I got this functional trainer and whoo, I'm feeling it in my shoulders. I mean, even right now, I mean, that I, I've been having that pain. I don't know if it's rotator cuff. I right there on that AC joint, I think they call it. 
the process right there, AC process, like you touch it. It's not as sensitive. It's still, when I'm pushing on, it hurts. So that's not as bad, but it's you know right out here on the delts that just because I've been doing more stuff, it's a little, little sore, which is fine. Um, elbows and stuff, not that bad because I've been protecting them more at work, wearing my brace. So still soreness, but not as bad as it was before. But what I really was sore at, because I had leg day on Sunday, I did leg day. First leg day of doing um, squats on the Smith machine. And because I got a pad, I ordered it off Amazon and just having issues with doing squats on it because I haven't figured out exactly the best way to do it. Because on that machine, and so let me pause it here. So here's my Smith machine. Sorry, it's a little blown out. I must have the ISO turned up a little too much on my camera. Um, so it's sitting in the corner of my bedroom. And you can't really tell because the walls are so blown out. But when you're, can you see my little pointer here? Um, so these are like your stoppers. That's where you would set it. That Smith bar won't go any lower than that. So if you had a, you know, if you drop the weight or whatever, it was get too heavy, it's gonna stop right there. So the problem with this is getting underneath it. And so I did this on Sunday and, you know, sending videos to my friend and, you know, they're like, you got to get your knees at a 90 degree angle. You're not going low enough. I'm like, if I go any lower, how am I going to get in and out of this thing? And so I kept lowering it till I got to where I was, you know, doing my squats at, with a 90 degree angle on my legs. Because of the way I got in and out of this machine, Monday morning when I got up, man, my back was killing me. I mean, I, mean, I haven't had low back pain like this in a really long time. I was so sore. Um, went shopping that day, you know, drove to Myers and stuff. And I got out of the car at Myers, you know, after sitting in the car for, even though it's like three minutes from here, I got out, you know, whenever you have low back pain and you get out of a car from sitting, you're just like, you can barely even walk. I mean, I'm bent over walking. Like I took a big schlong up the ass all night long. I didn't, but that's the way I looked and people probably thought that by the way I'm walking like, oh, I mean, it was because my back was hurting, not because my ass was hurting, but man. And I think, and I'll show you how I got in and out of this thing when it's that low like that. And I don't even think I have it. Well, yeah, I do have it as low. So I'm like, and I think that's where I hurt myself is doing that right now. You pause it. Cause you're looking at it. You're going, dude, there's no way I don't have the weights hooked up to it right now. Cause it's, Today's not leg day and my back is still a little sore. So I don't want to do it with weights on there. So I'm just doing this to demonstrate what was going on. So at the time when I did it and hurt myself, it, I don't know what I had on each stack, about a hundred pounds or something. I, I don't remember what I was squatting with, but yeah. So I think, let me back it up a little bit. And I sure I'm doing it wrong. I'm gonna to have to come up a different way. There is a different way and I'll, I'll show you in this video, but this is how I did it and this is how I hurt myself. Climbing into it like that. And I think it was that first lift right there each time. It's not proper form. That's where I hurt myself. So you're doing it and then I'm like, okay, I gotta get out of it, which you set it down and then basically drop down and climb out of it. Not the most ideal way to do it. There are, I have two other options. And this first option, which I'm just, cause I don't want to climb down under anything. I'm just lifting it up. Again, there's no weights on it. So the, the next option is to take it all the way to the top. But when I have that much weight, I don't know if I'm gonna go push it up with my arms and then lock it in up there. That's an option, but I'm not liking that one. See, then I could pull the sliders up, pull the bar down or whatever and get out of it that way. The next option would be you know, I'm in it and which is the way I think they want you to do it, but it's, is to go down on your, so I'm just, they were too low. I'm setting them to where I would normally have them at a squat, come down and you're going to lock it in. It's just awkward. You're going to be sitting there for a minute. You got to turn it, lock it in. And if you're, and the, there you can see it slipped off because let me pause it, pause, pause. 
So to do that, you, you have your bar and you just basically twist it so those hooks go under it. And then as I started pushing up, my hands rotated and it slipped off. They're not gonna drop. They're gonna, wherever it slips off, those guides are gonna stop. So that's, so let me go back and, and show you that again. So I have it set. So that's the other option. But the problem is you're going down. The reason it's a problem is, get to the point where I gotta lock it in. You're gonna go down and you're gonna sit there in that position, you know, with all that weight. And again, you can see I'm down. My form, because of that, I have to lean forward and twist. Now my back is getting out of, you know, alignment. And then go up with it. Now, if it didn't slip up, then I could stop and I could hop out of it that way. It's just, and if I'm gonna start at that position, again, I'd have it up like that, get underneath it, pull it back so I can slide them down to whatever position I want it in, lock it in, and then do my squats. It's Like it's not the most ideal thing. I mean, I guess I need more practice with it. And you can see, even right now, I don't have weights on I mean, when I'm just doing the Smith bar right here, um, let me show you. Play. So right now there's no weight on the Smith bar, but when I lock it into those sliders, I have it set at what, 20 pounds on each one. So really hardly any weight. Get to the end. So right now I am lifting the 20 pounds, taking it off. Even with that little bit of weight, and you can see I'm making a face. It's hurting, just doing that whole process, twisting all that. Okay, get off that. Um, you can see even just doing that, I'm, it was hurting. It was painful. It made my back sore. So I think I'm going to practice more with no weight on there so I can get it perfectly do it. I mean, obviously I'm struggling with the 20 pounds on each stack doing that. When I have it loaded to where I would do my squat weight, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how it goes. I may, if, if it hurts me again, then I may stop doing the squats with that Smith bar. Because I have a strap too, a big strap that hooks to the cables and goes over your back. That one I've done, I can get in and out of that a lot easier. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Because I don't, man, that, like I said, Monday, my back was just killing me. It's still a little sore. I mean, I've been popping ibuprofen like they're Tic Tacs. If you have any experience with doing squats on a Smith machine like that, like this, like the Inspire one where you got to lock it in at once. But I know there's a lot of Smith machines where you can just, they have the little hooks all the way down where you can just stop at any point and you don't have to do that. But if you have an experience with like an Inspire one, whether it's the SF3, the FTX1, FTX2, any of the, the models that have like the Smith machine, FTX1 doesn't have it. Any of the models that have that Smith machine bar on it, um, leave in the comments below. How do you do it? Get in and out of it. Are you doing it like that last way where you're locking it in and sliding? And do you have issues with your back? Again, I guess I just need to practice more with it. Okay, onto the picks. Like I said, I've been working out really hard um, since I've gotten the Smith machine. I'm not the Smith machine. The the functional trainer, which has the Smith Smith functional trainer. Um, six days a week now. I take off one day. So here are the picks. Uh, left is last week, right is this week. Yes, I'm looking douchey with my hat on backwards just because I was working. Uh, I think I just did uh, arm and back day. So I was sitting in front of the Smith machine doing overhead presses and with my hat on forward, it was smacking my hat. So I flipped it around backwards and worked out with a backwards hat. I don't ever wear it backwards, but I thought I'd be douchey that day and do it. And plus it made it easier because a lot of times my picks, I'm like, I'm looking at them like, which week is this? Which is week? Now I, I could easily pick that one out because I had the hat on backwards and none of my other picks are like that. Okay. Differences, I think I see a little, to me, let me know. I think the arm 
a little bit of better pump in the arm, chest. I think the abs are more prominent. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I put up an Instagram story of me doing my ab workout. And I'm gonna show you video, I don't think, show you videos of my back and arm day. And maybe next week I'll do chest and chest, chest and arm day, uh, chest and triceps. Um, and then next, the following week's video, maybe I'll show you leg and ab day uh, footage. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Um, but I put up an Instagram story of me because now I to do abs. I do some on the floor. I do some on the floor and some I hang from the, the pull-up bar and, you know, do abs like that. And I was, there was a video on that Instagram story of me doing lunges and I was like, damn, my ab, I mean, you could see the six pack. I'm like, fuckers are popping. Like, shit. It's nice when I see results. Like I've been, man, I've put in a lot of effort and a lot of work. And when I start seeing that, and I mean, even in this pick, I mean, I think they're, eh, you know, a little bit more prominent in, in this week's video or pick picture versus last week's. Okay. Um, and I will, because I don't, I, I'll add the videos in when I'm editing this, so I don't see them right now, but I would talk you through um, some of the things that I did on the videos. Um, and I'm still, like I said, I'm still learning this functional trainer. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and figure out what people are doing, what exercise, because there's so many exercises. I mean, even now, like, I'll have, you know, arm and back day that I'm watching videos that night. I'm like, oh, that's a cool one. Why didn't, it? I'll have to throw that in one next time. So, and I don't even know the names of half of these. I'm just doing them. Um, but on arm and back day, you know, there I started off with the overhead press. That's why I had to flip the hat around backwards, doing those, like those just to make my life so much easier. I just went through all this, which I'm gonna cut out, because I was like, I'm not gonna, it has to do with my live stream setup. I can either play the videos through here to where you're gonna see them as I'm seeing them, or I can edit them later. And I was gonna edit them later. And like, that's just, it's gonna make my life so much more diff, the editing process so much harder. So, okay. So my exercises, what I'm gonna show you here is my back and bicep day the exercise I do. I know they're not perfect. I'm still learning a lot of these, still learning the machine. Obviously, leave in the comments below. Some of these I don't even know the names of. We'll go exercise one, two, three. You can comment like, hey, exercise two, is this is what it's called. Your form was this and this. I know it's not perfect. I know I have a lot to learn. So any help you can offer would be absolutely amazing. Okay, exercise one, um, overhead press. Enjoy this one, first time doing it on this Smith machine. So, I mean, I think my form is okay. Obviously I can see there, I mean, man, my back is lacking big time. Um, that's why I'm hoping videos this time next year, looking at that back going nice. So I wanna see lots of improvement from my back. Exercise two, um, and I have a friend I, I work out with occasionally and she has freaking traps on her. I mean, big trap. I mean, not huge, but bigger than mine. Like, I'm jealous. Like, when she sends me pictures, she's like, check this out. She's posing in front of her mirror. I'm like, God damn, look at your neck. I'm like, how did you get those? She's like, well, I do shoulder shrugs a lot and overhead presses and stuff, like, all the time. So that's, and then shoulder shrugs is something I don't, like, I may do them like once a month. I hardly ever do, so I need to start throwing these in all the time because I want to get that width and the neck and the traps going. So, yeah, it's something I need to work on. And no, it's not it's not my girlfriend. It's my ex. It's my ex. We're friends now. We we work out occasionally. Um, trust me, there's nothing going on there. I will give you a little backstory just to fill everybody in. When we dated, she was bisexual. She had dated girls before me. She had dated guys before me. 
Um, so we dated for three years, and it was just like like this almost the whole time. And she didn't realize what was going on until pretty much after we kind of broke up. Like she had struggled with stuff like depression, anxiety, and other things um, besides her identity. And she, you know, we've talked since then. She's like, you know, I'm sorry for a lot of things I did. I was trying to push you away in ways because as she was with me, she realized she thought she was bisexual to, you know, to please people, you know, and she realized she wasn't. So she has finally come out as just, she's 100% gay, which is awesome for her. Um, we are much better friends now that we, that she's figured out who she is and we can talk about things that went on between us and why things went on between us. So we're, like I said, really good friends now, work out occasionally and man, I'm jealous of her damn traps. So just a little backstory on it. Um, so yes, definitely doing more shoulder shrugs. Going to throw these in a lot more. And again, I mean, form, I, I I, don't think I'm doing anything wrong here. I don't think you can really screw up shoulder shrugs that much. But if I am, by all means, let me know. Okay, that was exercise two. And this is the order I did them in. So if you have any comments on my order, like, hey, you shouldn't have did this and that. Maybe you should switch things around. By all means, let me know. This one, I, again, I don't know exactly what you would call it if exercise three leave it in the comments what would you call this one i think it's for like your lats like here like when i'm doing that i'm just like man where is my back like and that's one reason why i'm doing it shirtless is so i can see what i look like what the muscles look like um so then i and i guess decided to turn around and do it from the front so you can see from that angle Again, you can hit me on the comments on this one. I don't know how my form is. Like this is the first time even doing these exercises, These, especially this one. Um, I don't know if, I, should I be farther over the bar? You know, again, any tips you have, all means let me know. I wanna do these things correct and not injure myself. So that was what, was that exercise three? Um, over pressed. Yeah, I think that was exercise three. If I'm off, sorry. Um, exercise four, let me jump ahead here, is the seated row. And I started off doing it this way, where you lean way over and pull it. And that's because I saw it in a video from, let me just get these out of the way. Johnny, Johnny Sheev, S R. S H R E V E. Big freaking dude. Dude's huge. I like his videos. He goes over a lot of things. He'll show you, well, in his, I don't know if he's correct or not. He'll show you the correct way to do things. You know, everybody thinks they're doing things correctly because he'll show you videos from other big influencer, fitness influencers, and be like, yeah, don't do what he's doing. This is, you know. So I like his videos, but he does a video by, it says, stop doing. Back Train Mistakes featuring Anthony Mattello and Jesse James West. So um, Anthony does it like this, and he does it. Anthony's a bodybuilder. I mean, he, dude's freaking ripped. He does it correctly. Jesse James West in these videos kind of does things a little off. So Anthony's doing it like this. So that's why I started trying it. And this is the day after I injured my back doing those squats. So my lower back is just killing me right now. And, and bending over like that is hurting. And let me address the elephant in the room. What the fuck is going on with my stomach there? Like, what is going on? Like, why? I look huge. Like, I let my cats in. Oh my goodness, no, they're going crazy. They're probably mad because I'm like, you guys are coming in now. I mean, look at that. I mean, I'm, 
I guess I could push it out. I mean, but even when I push it out, like... I don't know. Am I bloated in that video? Maybe I just had freaking Chick-fil-A or something. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I, that was yesterday. I did have Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Okay. I did have Chick-fil-A for breakfast and I had checkers for lunch. So I deserve to be a fat bastard. Okay. I forgot about that, that I freaking had fast food twice yesterday. I mean, but still, I mean, come on. God, that angers me. I'm freaking jelly belly. Anyway, so I was doing them like this at first and it's hurting my back. Like get to the end, like, Ah, like there, I'm just ooh, in pain. So I, I, I do fix it, but I first went into this, these lap pull down and I, I found this attachment. I bought this on Amazon and I know I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I mean, I guess you could do it like that, but then I saw a video last night, somebody used that attachment. He's, he's pulling it down like this. So let me know in, in the comments below, which way you would use it. I mean, obviously probably use it both ways. Okay, so here I go back to do those rows again. And I decided I'm not gonna bend over anymore because it was hurting my lower back too much. So I started doing like this and I like this a lot better. And I'm using these handle grips and I got this new handle up here. I ended up using it, but I don't think I, I sh shot any video of that. But I bought that handle for this reason. So I changed up the way I'm doing the rows. I like this better. And again, because it was because my lower back was absolutely just freaking destroyed. One that I had done last back exercise, back and arm day was, you know, <laughs> even just doing that motion right now, ew, my shoulders are so sore. Is, is this one, you know, the, the crossover pull. I think I try it one time, like even right now with no weight, like oh, my shoulders are just sore. Nope. I was like, uh-uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to lighten the weight. I had way too much heavy, the weight was too heavy for that. And I'm going, I think I put it up to like 20 pounds on each side. Still like, oh, I was like, nope. Done with that exercise, that's just hurting. I don't wanna do anything that's painful right now. So I said, skip that one. Then I said, all right, I'm just gonna go into biceps, so. See, I don't know. See, there, now when I'm standing, I mean, maybe it's just when I, I sit. I mean, now I'm not looking fat as much. But when I was sitting, man, I was looking thick. Maybe it's just when I bend over, it just pushes it all in that one spot. What the? What the fuck was that? Like, I will criticize myself when I do stupid shit. Let's go back to that. All right, take the hat off. What's up? I got a big mirror there I'm looking at. God, sometimes I'm... Yeah, you're a douche. I'm, just... I'm calling myself a freaking douche. That was douchey. All right, what are you gonna do now? So I use, so I'll do uh, uh, bicep curls where I stand far away almost like a bicep drag kinda. And then I'll do the, you know, and again, the names, I mean, I'm just more standing straight over, you know, right underneath or over the cables and do biceps that way. I mean, that was kind of douchey too, but dude. I guess when I get in workout mode, man, I. Workout mode equals douche mode. All right, exercise whatever freaking number we're on now. Okay, got the hat backwards now. Freaking badass. Now I got my uh, whatever bar, curling bar. So I do curls with this way too. And had it too high, I think. All right, let's go, come on. 
and it just was feeling weird. If I, like, so I was just checking to make sure the weights were the same on each side. So then I'll do biceps like this. And again, like I said, any form comments you want to make, by all means, let me know. And here's a tip for you. If you got this machine and you got one of these bars, don't drop the bar. Watch closely. Watch my shins. Watch my face. I dropped the bar. Smack. Oh, yeah. You're, you, I deserve that for whatever that was. Trust me, I was much more careful with that bar after doing that mistake. Okay, what's next? Oh, well, hello, boo-boo. You want to come up and be in the video? Okay. All right, on to... Do you want to come up too? Come on. Get up here. Come on. That one, that one I got to keep an eye on. I keep this door closed. He will, he eats my laces. Then he'll poop them out. He'll eat cords. Like I have, stop, stop pushing the Turk off the table. Like seriously. Come on. All right. On to the next video. Oh my goodness. This is why it's almost easier to keep them out on the deck while I'm doing this because then they... Come on, I'm trying to hit the thing. Okay. Um, overhead presses with my dumbbells. Just using 20s because, like I said, my shoulders were just on fire still from the previous back and shoulder and arm day. We're still a little sore. Don't. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if anything happened to the screen there. Like, he walked on my computer. Okay. All right, so there is a look at my back, shoulder, bicep day. Um, what I'm doing right now, obviously, it'll change. Like I said, I'm watching videos all the time, trying to learn new exercises I can do on there. Um, So that'll change. And I'll probably keep doing updates of this, showing you in these videos of what I'm doing, what I'm training on, you know, my form so we can discuss, you know, what I'm doing wrong. So next week, I think I will show you some footage of, it's either gonna be chest and back, or not chest, chest and triceps, or probably, that'll probably be the next one I'll do. So I had mentioned, and I don't know if I said in my last video, I was looking at getting a bike. I don't know if I had bought the bike yet, but I did get the Schwinn, Schwinn RC4. So I have it out in my living room there because one, my room right now is kind of not packed, but because when I, let me show you this, then I'll show you how I have it set up right now because when I film, like I need room to film in there too. And my setup takes up a lot of space and my bed's in there and, and I got a new rack. You'll notice everything's kind of color coordinated. Now I'm looking at it. Since my bed's in there, I need a new uh, uh, bedspread that matches black and red. Everything's black and red. Uh, so my bike is black and red. I didn't get it because it was black and red. I'm not completely get it because of black and red. I did look kind of cool, but. The reviews on it were, were good and um, Best Buy had it on sale. So I have it in the corner of my living room there. One, I can put my remotes right there on the uh, windowsill. And I can look out the window if I want and I can turn and it faces my TV. So I can ride my bike while I watch TV. And usually what I've been doing right now, because I've only had it for a few days, I'll do my uh, weight lifting and then I'll go ride the bike for like 15 minutes just get a little cardio in each day. Um, I was gonna show you. Oh, I was gonna show you my setup, why I don't have it in my room. 
one, because then if I wrote it in my room, I don't have a TV in there. I'm like, what am I going to look at? At least here I can ride it well. And, and it's so quiet. Like this thing makes no noise. The only issue I have with it, because I haven't rode a bike like this before. Like if you've ever rode the ones at uh, Planet Fitness, you can, you know, you pedal and then you can spin it backwards like you can on a normal bike. You can go backward, you know, even though it's not doing anything, but you can pedal it backwards. And if you want to stop, you just, you know, you're pedaling, you just stop and the bike stops. This, because it's like, what do you call it? Like a drum that spins the wheel. You want to stop. You don't just stop pedaling because if you do that, I'm pedaling and I forget sometimes. I'm like, I see the cats and like, I'm, because where I'm on the bike, I have to like lean on the bike and lean forward to be able to see around the corner, to see them out on the, out on the porch where they like to sit. So when I'm doing that, I'm like, I stop. You stop pedaling, but those pedals will keep going. So it's like a pedal and then, whoa, it'll like throw you, throw you up. And you can't go backwards on it. You can't pedal backwards. So I found the easiest way to this knob right here in the middle is you adjust the tension of the, the drum or whatever, the brakes, whatever it is on there. So the higher the tension, it goes from zero to a hundred. I ride it at like 18. Like that gives me pretty good workout. So while I'm riding it, when I want to stop, I'll just spin that little, I'll just twist it up to like a 40 and you come to a stop because I'm like, oh, I can't even turn it. I can't even pedal at that point. So when I remember, that's how I do it. I just twist it and then it, it's easier to stop and I don't get like thrown on the bike because the pedals want to keep going and I don't. Okay. So that's why I have it in the room out there so I can watch TV with it. But let me show you my room real quick. And I will apologize. My room is a little messy. I don't have my bed spread on there because Gideon, my white cat, sleeps with me at night. Do you ever, if you have a cat, did your cat do this? Like I'll be, I'd lay on my side and he'll be like by my stomach. And next thing I know, he's slowly, next thing I know, I open my eyes, his head is on the pillow and he sees my eyes open. And I kind of close and peek. And then here comes the paw, just really, just like rubs my face. And then he'll pull it back and then he'll do it again. And it's cute, but it gets annoying when I'm trying to sleep. Like I pick him up and I, Put him down. And then next thing I know, he's right there again, rubbing my face. But I don't have my bed spread on there because he sheds so much. And I have it in my dryer right now, trying to get the hair off it. Does your dryer, like I just moved into this apartment. This dryer I have, like doesn't de-lint stuff. Like I'll wash stuff and throw it in the dryer and pull it out. And it still has cat hair on it. I'm like, it's got the little lint drawer in the front, but it like, and I've emptied it. So it's not like the lint drawer is full. It just doesn't collect any lint. And I put dryer sheets in there. Leave in the comments below. If you've had this issue, how do you solve that? Like, it's so frustrating that I don't want my clothes to come out with still cat hair on it. So anyways, I have it in the dryer trying to get the cat hair off my bedspread, which I know it probably won't. All right, I'm rambling. Okay, so here's the bedroom. Uh, so as you can see, I have my camera rig set up in there too. So when I film stuff, it takes up some space. I got this new rack. It's a little smaller than I th thought it was going to be. Um, I bought it off of Amazon. I didn't realize it was going to be that short, but at the same time, I guess it's kind of nice because it doesn't block much of the mirror and it doesn't take up much space. And I don't have a whole lot of dumbbells right now. So it works and it matches the colors, the black and red. So I like that. There's my big mirror I have. I uh, got that at I'm trying to think, I can't remember. I went, cause I went to all of them. I went to Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's. I don't remember which one I actually, I probably said it in one of the videos, which one I actually got it from. I, I can't remember. Because I know I was gonna get one, then I was gonna get the other one. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get it from Menards. I don't think I found Menards didn't have any big mirrors like that. I could be wrong. For 
some reason I'm thinking I got it from Home Depot. But maybe I got it from Lowe's. I don't know. I don't know. I can I literally cannot remember where I got that mirror from now. Um, and then there's my functional trainer over in that corner. And I'm going to point to it. There's a piece of art I want to get that's going to go over there. It's, I haven't decided on the size. It's, it's red and black. It's a samurai picture. I like samurais. I think it'll go really cool in there. So eventually that I'll get that and throw that up there. Um, something that I had mentioned in one of the videos, and I don't know if I told you that I found a fix for it, is these mats were so slippery. Like we were having issues when we first started working out on this, like no grip down there. Um, I was like, what am I going to do? Am I going to have to replace the, the center pads, pull these out and put something, different ones that were grippier there? And, and everyone was texting like, oh, put grip tape down there. And I was like, oh, is it going to stick to those? Is it going to come off? So I was at Menards. I know I got this at Menards. That I'm 100% sure. So they had... Hey! Oh my goodness. Chewing a cord. Get out. You do not chew any of these cords. Uh, so I bought a couple rolls of that. And that's literally two rolls right there, taking up that space, which works perfectly. Um, I don't think I need much more. I thought maybe putting some over on the sides, and I may eventually. But I laid this, and it works perfectly. Then someone right after that, literally within an hour of me laying this on there, is like, hey, you know these uh, pads, these mats, they spray them with a, they spray them at something in when they make them to keep them from getting moldy or whatever. You just need to wash them, scrub them down really well, and they won't be, uh, to get that slippery stuff off there so it doesn't get mold up or whatever they, why they put that on there. Um, so I did that and this one, and I'll show you, so I scrubbed it. I think I scrubbed this one really well. I, I've scrubbed them all, but not as well as I did this one. So this one, and I'll show you with my foot, is it's better than it was, but my foot moves a little bit, but this one's really grippy. So if, and I kind of put these pads down. I was like, ah, oh, don't get them. I apologize. I didn't realize that they spray these and put this slippery stuff on these pads that you just got to wash it off. So once I washed it off, I mean, really, if I scrubbed them really, really well, I probably wouldn't need the grip tape, but the grip tape is fine. I have it. It works really well. So, and I will show you, I'm just telling you. Yeah. So that one, you can see my foot still moves a little, but this one I've scrubbed really well and it's, yeah, no slipperage, slipperage, slipperiness whatsoever. Um, so yeah, if you have pads and you have that issue where they're slippery, scrub them down, you know, soap and water. I use I just used like a spray cleaner, like a surface cleaner and sprayed them and, and scrubbed them down really well. And it, it works well. Um, fudge pudge. I forgot to weigh myself this morning. Dang it. I know I weighed myself last night. I was like 161. So usually I'm a few pounds lighter in the morning. So I'd say I'm probably 159. But again, I mean, Fatty had Chick-fil-A and checkers in the same day. And I had checkers like two days prior to that. Oh, man. I'm sorry, but checkers is so good. And I went there and like, they show like the big double Buford, like it's huge. And then you get it and it's this little tiny thing and I got a little tiny fries. So this time I went and I was like, give me the big Buford combo, double meat. And give me large size. I got big fries. Oh man, now I remember the day before that I had five guys. That's why I'm so fat. It, it, it. To my defense, it's because I go, I, I go to the store, Usually, I'm not hungry when I go to the store, so I just walk through there and I don't get anything. Then I come home, I'm like, I'm so hungry and I have no food here. Then I go out and get stupid stuff, which I just went to the store before I shot this video and I got so much food now, so I'm good. 
But with that being said, I can honestly tell you, I unless I'm dating someone and they're like, hey, let's go to Five Guys, I will not go to Five Guys again. Like, I haven't been to Five Guys in like two years. I didn't realize how freaking expensive it was. I just got the burger with double meat burger, a fry, a small fry, and a drink, $19. What the, I'm like, this better be the best damn burger I've ever had for this price. And it wasn't, it wasn't anything good. I was like, Buffalo Wild Wings burgers. If you haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings burgers, those are really good. And they're not gonna be as expensive as that. And I'm starting to think I might do videos on that because they got quite a few different burgers, maybe once a week. Get a burger from Buffalo Wild Wings and do a review on it. Maybe. I haven't had a burger from there in a while. It sounds good. Uh, yeah, so I can tell you that. I will not be having that again. And one other thing I was gonna tell you too is, uh, as far as workout, like I said, I work out six days a week. Um, push, pull, leg. Push, pull, leg off is what it is. You don't need to work out that much. You know, you don't have to, obviously do whatever works best for you. Obviously, if you can work out your body parts, you know, I, if you don't have that much time, if you do a full body workout, maybe three times a week is ideal. I don't want to do that because for me to do a full body workout, I'm, like right now when I'm just doing a push pull leg, I'm still working out for about an hour. This workout that you just saw a video of, that was 70 minutes plus then another 15 minutes on the, on the bike. If I'm trying to do a full body workout three times a week, those workouts would be two plus hours. I don't want to spend that much time. So that's why I work out six days a week. Plus I don't have commitments. Like I go to, I have a full-time job that I work, you know, five days a week. But when I come home from that, I, I don't have a girlfriend. So I don't have that taken up time. Not, I don't say that as like, I'm happy about that, but that's just the reality. Um, I don't play any sports or in any, in any leagues right now. You know, I'm not like in a bowling league or a softball or any of that stuff. So I don't have those kind of commitments. So I have time to come home and work out for an hour, hour and a half each night. I like doing it. It takes up my time. If I wasn't doing that, I would, I shop. I shop way too much. Like if I'm bored and I don't have anything to do, I don't watch TV. I mean, I watch some TV, but more, more times than not, if I'm bored, I'm like on Amazon. I'm like, oh, I could use this. I need a picture. I need new lights. I need this. I need a new lens. So working out fills the time. It keeps me from doing other stupid stuff. So leave it in the comments below. Let me know what's your workout schedule. How often do you work out? You push, pull, leg, uh, upper body, lower body, full body workouts. What do you do? Again, leave me any comments. Let me know anything you saw in the video that you're like, hey, I don't like the way you're doing that. I don't like the order you're doing in it. By all means, I'm open to any criticism. Because I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm learning a lot of this stuff. Yes, maybe from the last video. I didn't have that up. I finally came. That one came from Florida, sat there. I have another one over here that's coming from China, which is here now. It's finally flew over here. It's been several weeks now. It says it's cleared customs. It's waiting for pickup. It's been three days now. It's been saying it's waiting for pickup. I don't know where it's waiting for pickup at. So maybe next week when I do the video, I'll have that picture up. I don't know. <laughs> or it'll still be sitting waiting for pickup. So there you go. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you next week. Or if you want to check out any other of my videos, because I have a lot of new stuff that I'm going to be reviewing here. Oh, I made noise because my lower back is still hurting. This one will be coming up. Do you like? I mean, they only come out at a certain time of the year. I love Count Chocolate. Great cereal. Blueberry, I, 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 these two I don't buy. Obviously I had to get this because I, this is how you get it at Sam's Club. The reason I got this, I mean, I guess I'll try them. I don't know if I'll eat them, is this one. Like I've never had it. I don't know the last time it's came out, maybe years and years, Fruit Brew. So that's the main reason I got this. To try this out, do a review on the Fruit Brew. So if you want to see that video, that'll be coming up 
soon. There you go, like I said, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you when I see you.